he, he'll. Uh, Josh he'll will tell you where to go. <laughs> All right, we're very good. What? He needs. He needs. He needs to know how to respond. He needs to appeal a notice. He's he's been given a notice of violation, so he needs to come in and. Okay. Can I take a look at it? No, just the casing. It wasn't Casings. <laughs> I didn't bench. issue it. <laughs> and I went to the black but this, I didn't like it. Do you know I can't find it? Stop the time. I wish it was orange again. You know how this prevent, uh, it will break in one hour if I don't have that. Oh, well, that, that up in me. All right. All right. Very well. Everybody, be quiet, please, so we can start. Oh, hi, Veronica. I want to welcome everyone for the Wareham Zoning Board of Appeal for tonight's meeting, Wednesday, April 10, 2024. It is 6.30 p.m., and we are at the room 320 Multiservice Center, 48 Marion Road, Wareham, Mass. I want to call this meeting to order. I make a roll call. My far left, Mr. Richard Semple. My far right, Mr. Troy Larson, Mrs. Veronica Davinese. Our clerk, Jim Akibachi, myself, the chair, Nazi al also present, town consultant, Mr. Phil Corredo from uh, Allen Major, and uh, assistant town planner, and, or future town planner, Mr. Josh, uh, also, <laughs> and that's it. I don't know who we have on Zoom. So we're going to start uh, quick. Uh, on the preliminary business, we have the minutes 327. It was pushed, I guess, for this time, the 327-24 minutes did somebody read uh, we, it well, they've been reviewed there was a couple of minor corrections the copy that we have is corrected um, I, I move to accept as presented any discussion on that I None. second a second by uh, we have motion by Jim second by rich all in favor say aye Troy aye Veronica aye uh, Jimmy aye rich aye and myself Nazi aye so this is done uh, we're going to go to 1718 for Waterways 3035 Cranberry Highway to determine that the reconstruction of Route 28 is now substantially complete. If you all know, we ha you have a package with you. Who was here when Attorney Dave Serkey came? I know Jimmy was with us. You were with us in Waterways? I remember somebody came from Waterways talking about... No, that was about three years ago, three, four years ago. I've been here. You, since were you with us? I don't think I have. Well, uh, Veronica, might, Veronica may have been. Anyway, they bought the Chinese restaurant, tore it down. They get in trouble with conservation. They had to file. They tear it down, stop parking. There was a building on the lot. They tore it down, parking, no site plan, nothing. And it kind of turned like the Wild West there. It's an accident waiting to happen. Too many exits to the highway. Last year, they had an incident with a bus full of kids. And when Mr. Serki came in before the highway got constructed, he promised at uh, Councilor Serki, the rich, rich Serki, yes, he had promised that as soon as the highway substantially finished, kind of like now, it's all what's missing now, the final code, and put the switch on for the lights, he will come back with us with a major site plan so we decide what we're going to do. Uh, because as you all know, is it's just big parking lot and everybody leave the same time everybody come in the same time at the end of the day the kids tired usually one mother or one father was 10 kids because he brought the nephews and the nieces everybody's tired cars running to get out of there to beat the traffic it's dangerous i think it's very dangerous uh now we went back to the hearing i discussed with attorney bowen and uh and the administrator, and Mr. Josh, and Mr. Ken Buckland. And we went back and read the minutes and everything, and we prepared something that's before you. I'd like to get a motion and accept it to make them come to the table with something, because we had a meeting about a year ago at the room 27 at the town hall over there, and that somehow they agreed to come with a site plan then they renege on the deal uh, so if you guys guys like to take a look at these documents that josh prepared now if i understand um as additional information to your comments if i understand correctly since this meeting where we gave them a, a, a time-limited 
approval. That three years ago or four, or this one right now, about a year ago? This, what we're talking about here, on the site plan review issue. Since then, I believe ownership has changed. Right. Owners, what the four year, whenever that hearing was with attorney circuit, that was different owner. The owner sold this yes. property to a new gentleman. Apparently, she didn't disclose that there was issues. This is not our problem. And we had told him that on a meeting here at the town hall, I forgot, about eight, last year. I, was it last year, Josh? I mean, maybe yes. a little less, but yeah, within the year. Within the year, and we said, I, 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 we expressed our, we said we're sorry that you bought a problem, but the sound, you have to go back to the seller why they didn't disclose it to you. And that's, that's, it doesn't mean we, we can uh, jeopardize public safety because you bought something with a problem. And they said, yes, they had the attorney, they agreed to come to do a site plan. They agreed in a meeting to do a site plan. A uh, few months later, they sent a letter saying they want, they'll sue the town, this and that. I said, okay, want to sue the town? I guess you sue the town. It is what it is. Uh, so I, I think it's very important, this document, we send it to them, that gives them three months to start the site plan, the plans, and implement it by next year before next season. If they don't, in three months, that place will be shut down. So whoever's hearing, in three months, if they don't start their site plan and substantially complete it, the place will be, will have a cease and desist and it will be shut down. So my Hopefully question, they're, they're listening. My question is, this letter dated March 27th, yep. has it been mailed or are, are we considering accepting it in the form written and signing it to be mailed? To be it's it's got to be mailed, to be certified, mailed. or no, it's going to be sent with the sheriff, right? It's got uh, yeah, so you guys are going to vote to accept it tonight. You'll sign it tonight, and tomorrow I will send a certified mail. I'll send a regular mail, and we're going to use a constable. To the constable, yeah. I, make, I move that we uh, table this until the end so that all the members have had a chance to read this, and then we can decide if there's any wording that we want changed. Do I have a second on that? To table it to the end. Do you have a second? Yes, second. Second by Veronica. All in favor say aye. Troy? Aye. Veronica? Aye. Jim? Aye. Rich? Aye. And myself, Nazi, aye. So that goes to the end. We move to continued public hearing 49 <coughs> 23, McKenna and Delmeyer for the appeal for 504 Main Street. Who's got the extension on that? Okay, so we got a letter requesting for an extension until April 24th and an agreement that they will extend the deadline for the board to make a decision until May 30th. And I um, move to grant the request as stated. Any discussion on that? No. Okay, do I have a second? Second. Second by Rich, all in favor say aye. A Troy? Aye. Veronica? Aye. Jim? Aye. Rich? Aye. Myself, Nazi, aye. It carries. Second one, 5 24, Walid Al Daya, the special permit to 2544 and 2546 Cranberry Highway. And we also have a letter on that one um, requesting an extension uh, until May 8th. And again, they're extending the decision for the board to make a decision to May 30th. Any discussion on that matter? <laughs> Do I have a second on that? Second. Second by Troy. All in favor say aye, Troy. Aye. Veronica. Aye. Jim. Aye. Rich. Aye. Myself, Nazi, aye. <coughs> Carry. On 624 TTR LLC, Trito Road, a gentleman, uh, she expressed to him, Sonia, that he hasn't finished his plan. And she expressed to him there's no need for him to come all the way. I, live, I guess he lives in Easton or somewhere. So. And I know it's gonna take him a month to finish the plan, so I was I recommend that we continue him to 522. 22 or 24? May 22nd. Okay. Now he needs at least a month for the plans. Okay. To May 22nd. Okay, May 22, okay. And hopefully by then, uh, Phil had reviewed the plans too and everything. 
And then what about the decision for the board that's going out to May 30th, or is it already out beyond then? Yeah, she got an extension from him. Um, can we, I think the extension needs to be later than a couple days after the hearing. Okay. Is it now? Well, is it the th right, did you say the 30th? I'm looking at it, 624. It doesn't even have a date on here for when the, it's due, but I think Let's see if, if you we're can. gonna give him till the 22nd of May, it should be at least extended till, you know, June 8th or, you know, after the following meeting. All right. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I think that the, um, can you feel, I think that. Yeah, there's no deadline here. It's What's April 10? That's, that's a meeting? That's today. So. Okay. Okay. They were supposed to be here, but they're not. Okay. So let's put it out to a decision by uh, uh, June 30th. Well, yeah. this creates a little bit of an issue, I think. If today is the day and there has been no signed extension. She, he gave Sonia a signed extension he did. on the email. But Sonia, please uh, email the gentleman back and get an extension to what you guys said. For the decision June 30. June 30, for June 30, 2024 from the gentleman. For uh, three tow road. All right, that being said, what's the wishes? Motion to continue to May 22nd and to continue the decision by the board till the end of June, June 30th. Okay, do I have a second on Jim motion? Second. Second by Rich. Uh, all in favor say aye. Uh, Troy? Aye. Veronica? Aye. Rich? Aye. Uh, J and myself, Nazi. Did I say Jim? Jim? Aye. Okay. So 500 zero, zero is continued. <laughs> okay, we're going to move to uh, public hearing 1124. This Bank of America, uh, 2991 Cranberry Highway. <laughs> the Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing on April 10, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. in room 320 of the Wayham Multi-Service Center, 48 Marion Road, Wayham, Mass, 02571 to consider petition number 11-24 for a variance from the requirements of Article 11, Section 1128 and Section 1172 under the Wareham Zoning Bylaws to Bank of America, care of ProSign Service LLC of 110 Forge River Parkway, Rainham, Mass, seeking to replace the existing sign band cabinets with a new logo on the front, rear, and side elevations of ATM building located at 2991 Cranberry Highway, Wareham, Mass. That appears on Assessor's Map 15, Lot C, in the CS Zoning District. Name and address, sir. Good evening, my name's Jesse. I'm with ProSign Service at 110 Ford River Parkway in Random, Mass. Okay, I wanna give us a quick brief what you're doing? Uh, yes, as J Jim mentioned, we are seeking to update Bank of America's existing signage for the standalone ATM building located in the Stop and Shop parking lot. Um, replacing each sign with a like for like in general size. The logos of the actual letters are decreasing. Um, and the only parts that of these updated branding will be that will illuminate will be the letters themselves and not the entire face like the existing signage. Um, this is part of a giant rebranding project that Bank of America is going through right now. Okay, so basically same size, same location, just the colors, the just font. Just the colors, yeah, just updating. Okay, as you, all, you guys all know, our bylaws, basically if you wanna paint a sign, you need to reapply, and that's how it is, so apparently they're gonna need a variance to reinstall it. That's how it is. Uh, I believe it warrants a variance. It is a hardship that it's substantial. Substantial changes of the sign will be substantial detriment on the finances to change the whole thing. 
and that being there for a while, I don't think it's a problem, but however the board feels about it. Uh, Troy, what do you think? I don't think it's a problem. Veronica? Um, just a question, I don't think it's a problem, but um, wouldn't this be a special permit? No. It's already existing? It got, no, because it's so big. If you have to do it from scratch, it needs a variance. It's too big. Oh, okay, I don't have, I don't have a problem with it. Jimmy? I'm all set, I'm, I'm no problem. It's too big for the building. Because the ratio is too The ratio of sign to building. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rich, what do you think, bud? I'm all set. Anyone in public in favor or against this project? <coughs> I hear none. Okay, Make a motion to close the public portion of this hearing. I have a motion to close. Any discussion on that? Do I have a second? Second. Second by Troy. All in favor, say aye, Troy. Aye. Veronica? Aye. Uh, Jimmy? Aye. Rich? I and myself, I close this. Okay, wishes. Motion to approve as proposed and shown in a uh, plan. I think the plan has a, a name on it. Plan by, what's the name of the company? Stratus Sun Unlimited dot com or? Just Stratus. It's just Stratus? <clears throat> yeah. Is just part of your name or is it Stratus? <laughs> <laughs> you can put anything you Stratus want. Stratus uh, uh, as presented by Stratus Sign. Okay, very well. Patty, please add on the, on the decision that it does meet statutory requirement of MGL 40A section 10. And on the variance, we get granting a relief on 1128 and 1172, part one and part two. Uh, so we have a motion by Jim. Do I have a second? Second. second. Second by Troy. All in favor say aye, Troy. Aye. Veronica? Aye. Jimmy? Aye. Uh, Rich? Aye. And myself, aye. Carries. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. All right. Let's like go back to water with. I like the new sign better, too. Yeah. You guys got Veronica handed the motor early. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, we, before uh, Mr. from Terry Lane, so uh, you have to go to your office. They'll explain to you the process, how to come before. All right, very well. Uh, before we go forward, uh, on on uh, uh, Phil, you want to come forward, please, and just state your name and address for the record. Phil Cordero, Allen and Major Associates. All right. Uh, I asked Mr. Phil to come here, and I'm glad he did. What, did I ask you? Oh, he came anyway. I think I did, right? I was here anyways. <laughs> uh, for the Decorah partners, the Woodlands Cove, is it? And uh, with the mess with the drain engine. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I've been going by there every day. I've texted you a few times. Uh, what do you think of the whole thing? So I, I was on site last week. I saw the puddles that uh, you had observed a couple of days prior. I met with Mark Pilotti. He had indicated that they had temporary sedimentation, siltation controls in the drain, and that's why the larger puddle was still there. I didn't dig it up. It sounded completely plausible. He should do that until that area stabilizes. I understand. But the point that I raised with him that I think you ultimately echoed is, well, let's give this a day or two. It should ultimately drain through that soil, and it's, it's still there. So he has something else going on there that needs to be resolved. I'm back meeting him Friday morning as our routine follow-up. Let me ask you, did they send you a drawing of what they're doing for the drainage uh, chambers? Uh, they did, yes. yes. And you think those buckets with stones work with the four inch? They, they do. They, they proof out by calculation and they should work based on the small areas that it's picking up, yes. But in the back of the last building, that's not a small area. The whole project dumps there. So the bigger, the bigger infiltration system, that's adequately sized as well, but I didn't take a deep dive on that because that predates me and, pre and was previously approved. The, the biggest drainage system picks up up high. It, does. it, it doesn't pick up that building goes back there. No, no, that's picked up by the new mini flow dry well systems that they are installing as part of this drainage remediation now. This was unaccounted for. I don't, did you do the calculation for that? I don't, 
for the for the new stuff, we checked their calculations. Yes, and what what uh, Dominic Rinaldi had provided was correct. It checked out by math. What was what what I was suspect on is the the rates that they're using for the soils out there. I didn't necessarily agree with. Um, as I was looking at them. It is they, good rates there. I know the soil very well there. Right, but they're using a very, very high rate, but the fact that there are puddles out there seems to disconnect with the rates that they're using. The puddles are because all the silt running because they never treat it, but the soil there, I've Hard. done a project right next to it. It's fine, but uh, I don't like how the grade drops to that last building. I really wanted to see a retaining wall but I guess they don't want to do it, I don't know. But in our decision that we drafted, we, we, I don't believe the board's gonna say, okay, by the way, it's not a public hearing, so we could discuss it. I don't believe, that unless the board says okay, and you say okay on the project, we're not willing to issue, uh, well, we will inform the commissioner that we're not happy with it. We can't make him issue or not issue an occupancy, but that's as our decision that's going. So we need to visit and revisit. Uh, it's a tough site, I don't know what happened. I know what happened. <laughs> Nobody was holding a laser, that's what happened. Nobody was building it right. Nobody was watching. Uh, so we required an asbelt also. So we wanna see an asbelt and apparently comparing it to the Proposed, it's way off, but I really don't don't want it Mickey Mouse. They really Mickey Mouse in it, to be honest with you. That's I, how I see. I don't know if any of the board went to look at it. It's, that's a Mickey Mouse job, I, I not reminded, a fifty million dollar job. I reminded Mark on Friday that he has conditions precedent to getting his CO that he needs to adhere yeah. to, which is which is providing the as built and making sure it's reviewed before he thinks he's going to walk out with the permit. He indicated he's on top of it. And to be fair, uh, you know, I gave him a little bit of flexibility. He is in the middle of construction. He has a number of erosion problems, siltation problems out there that he's chasing his tail on that have to be resolved. And I wouldn't agree with the drainage being done until those are addressed also. Yeah, I mean, th that's at least a $50 million project. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe the people who's doing it are capable, but I think these are landscaping crew. They're not an excavation crew. These, the, and I noticed they're landscapers. Uh, you are correct. It's they're the not, landscapers doing They're not site work. contractors. Correct. And landscaper, I mean, they're probably good. I, I'll probably give them that, but they're not set up to do drainage. And because I saw them doing all this, I didn't see them holding a laser. I go there every single day. Never seen them once putting laser. Today, I have to say, I saw them putting laser because between the first two buildings, they put on that wall. That's the first day I seen them with a the laser, but before they went using a laser. So, and I did express this to our previous meeting there that you want to go ahead and start, they wanted to rush and work. I said, at your own risk, if we're not happy with it, we don't have to agree to it. Right. So that's something we have to stay on top of it. I like the board to visit sometimes when they have a chance to drive by. Do you want to put any input, Rich, on that? I, I drove through there yesterday, went through and saw what they were doing. I'll have another report for the board by the end of the week. What are they going to do with the last two buildings? How the, how the road is higher than the entrance? So they, they anticipate doing the same modification to cut that grade down and use retaining walls and sloping and landscaping to mask the elevation change. That's the goal. The right way to do it take the road out and drop it for, that's the right way. Yes. If it was my project, that's what I would do. I think we have to go back quite a ways to find out why it went sideways, like I think to your point. I know what I- Nobody was checking it and people weren't connecting the, the dots. Said five foot foundation, they just put five foot foundation from the existing elevation. They didn't read the plan, they're like six feet off. That's good. Six feet off, deep. Six feet. At least, I think they're six, seven feet off. It, it, it's a sizable mistake that they're chasing now. Yes. So if they had spent a lot of money on Phil when they did it the first time, 
Do it, no. fill. No, they don't need fill. They need a good engine, a good if contractor. On quality fill? control, quality I'm control. About this fill? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. Better if they had spent the money on quality work, quality control. We wouldn't right. be in this mess. But if the thing was five feet more out of the ground, wouldn't they have to raise the ground? To no, no, because they raise it somewhere else. It, it would have balanced itself. Okay, okay. Plus, not much fill. Okay, the, the size, the amount of fill for fifty million is nothing. This. I, I'm assuming 50, 150 units at 350 a unit with the land that, there. That's almost $45 million. And, you know, God love them. I hope they make billions and they get a sizable amount of grant mm -hmm. and sizable rebates. And they should have hired the right people. I don't understand why the town should suck it up. It came out yeah. ugly. Sorry, it came out ugly. If they did it right, it would have been beautiful. That it, it just, it's done, it's weird. Well, we've been, we've been button heads with them right along, so. Yeah. I mean, they, they took their choice, their, their course, so. So. So, I think it's important to send a message via this applicant, or any applicant, sure. that when an applicant comes in front of the town and thumbs their nose and says, ha ha, it's a 40B project, and we can overrule your zoning. We go, yeah, you're right, and we do what we can to work with them, but then when they go and don't even build for a plan, I think it's time for us to thumb our nose back yeah. at them. That's the way I feel. I do too. You, know, you can reject the as built at yeah, the end of the day. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't mean to, I'm usually very lenient and very forgiving but um, when I hear about a piece of silt cloth not allowing water to go into a drain, and I know, you know, in my non-contractor's mind, that if I went there and put my hand on top of that cloth and cleared some of that sand, the water could go through that cloth. Well, you know, the words escape me. Well, I have the words, but I just, you know, people get mad when I use them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, it, it, the, board, the board has all the right to reject the project the way it is. Ma moving these buildings, jacking them up, it's very unfair, I guess. It's very costly, but to go Mickey Mouse it with landscaping. Mickey, I, Mouse, is, Mickey I, I, Mouse has given them a lot of credit. So I'm not, I'm, I, I, I personally not going to be happy with it. I, I don't think they'll get my vote for it, but I don't know with the rest of the board, they have to decide themselves. They, they have more work to do before they it can needs me a real you. It, they need, I've, I've told them in the meeting there, mm -hmm. and they tell them pay attention, you need a real architect. It needs a very, very creative architect to, let, to design the whole landscaping and retaining wall to make it look that's how it's designed to do. Sending landscaper to do it, it's not gonna cut it. If, I mean, that's what it is. They're gonna have, they're gonna have to spend some money and to get somebody real good to design it. Other than that, I don't know what to tell them. Hopefully they're listening. Hopefully they will, yeah. I mean, I think the message is that it, it, in the end, it should turn out to be a project that is favorable to the town, despite the yeah. burden on the school and the fire and the police departments. I, I don't think it's going to really be a detriment to the town, but I don't think the town should allow it to be detrimental. No. And the money was spent. That just nobody's watching. That tells me no one cares because they were getting money left or right, so they don't care, so but that, that's their problem. They don't have to care, we do. So that's, that's it, so okay. please relay the message if you talk to them or. I will see them on Friday. All right, very good. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, Phil. Thank you for coming in. All right, let's go to water, thanks for coming in. So what time is your site visit on Friday? Nine o'clock. Maybe I'll go by also. I'm there all the time, I go twice a day sometimes. All right, let's you, go back. You'll be there at nine o'clock this Friday. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so if you guys want to go. All right, I can go. Uh, yeah, I guess you could discuss it. It's closed. All right, let's go back to what it was. <coughs> I've had a chance to read it. My first, my, my, 
I don't find issue with the letter or the content of the letter. Um, after I read it three times, I understood it. Um, not that I didn't get it on the first read, but I just, you, you get what I'm saying, you know, to really, um, but I think my only comment would be that in the, uh, in the next to the last paragraph or the paragraph preceding the exhibits, um, it, it says that um, the zoning, you know, to, within the time frame specified by the covenant, um, which leaves room for argument. I think I'd like to somehow put in there, but no later than June 27th, 2024. Give me a this specific date. No, this letter, it triggers the three months. Notice. I understand. So this is dated March 27th, and it said that they will do it within three months, and we're telling them that it's substantially complete. So three months from March 27th is June 27th. They should have that into us no later than June 27th, no later. based on the date on this letter. Now, we can change June 27th to July 4th. Yankee, if you want to be Yankee Doodle about it, I don't care. That uh, makes just, sense, Josh? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I understand what you're trying I to say. I want to give them a, I, I don't want to give a lawyer words that say, within the terms of the government, because you know, lawyers can take words and make them say anything they need them to say. But if you say, but no later than, and give them a specific date, it's hard to argue with a specific date. That's just my thought. No, it, it's definitely a good thought. Um, so, you know, we've had discussion with town council about this letter, and we feel that they're probably going to argue against it anyway. Right, exactly. So, <laughs> um, it wouldn't hurt to put it in the letter. Uh, Jimmy, this is the one we're going to sign. Can you write it properly here? This is... Um, that's the, that, that's that, the one, that's yeah. the, Can you write what you wanted to write on that? Okay. Are you okay with the date that I suggest? I'm okay. Are you guys okay with the date? Yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I'm okay. We will vote on it at the end, but write it down right there, and initially, we're all going to initially. Um, and I... Troy, what do you think? Are you good sending that letter with the modification Jim did? I am. Veronica. I'm still trying to understand what's happening. <laughs> I mean, I see there's a lot, there are a lot of documents here that I'm trying to just ingest quickly. If you want, I can give you a brief summary of, you know, what the goal of the letter is and what the exhibits are. So that's the, a good idea. Be, this, that's not dated that I can see. What's well, not dated? Where's the date? Uh, in, in the address. Yeah, let, why don't Josh give us a brief, so you, and then you guys can ask But this questions. is 2022, so there's no correspondence that's been recent? This is what we intend to send soon? We're sending it tomorrow if you guys sign off on it. Yeah, it's dated March oh, okay. 2020. should say March 2024. Oh, sorry. There's a typo on the... Oh, okay. We'll fix that, too. I can make that edit, yeah. Uh, okay. just, just so I'm sure that that 22 references this date, or, okay. There, when the covenant was signed, I just wanted to make sure maybe that's where the confusion was, but um, yeah, we can edit that date. That's not a problem. Um, so I guess a brief, a brief description of what we're trying to accomplish with this, and I can go into more detail after that. But um, you know, it's identified by the town that the property is unsafe the way that they're operating the parking and uh, other issues that they have now, and that the covenant they signed basically said, with the completion of the highway, you'll come back to the town with a site plan. Um, we believe that they're gonna argue that the highway isn't complete because it still needs a top Because they didn't turn the lights on yet, yeah. Right, they still need a top coat for the asphalt, so we believe they're gonna come back and say, um, well, the highway isn't complete, so technically we don't have to come back. That's why we have obtained letters from the police chief, fire, and EMS saying, we believe it's substantially complete, and here are a bunch of organizations saying that it's a safety hazard, um, basically to persuade them to say, if this did go to court, we have the, the justification to say that it's close enough, the entrance and the exits aren't going to change. Um, so, so, so uh, I, both, you can go first, Jim. Oh, so I'll go first, I guess. So Josh. There's some concern. I know that they put this 
separation in the in that area of Route Six or Twenty Eight, whatever, whichever one you want to call it. The turnaround in the uh, media. Just they they put the concrete barriers through. Oh there. yeah. Okay. Yep. But then they modified it in front of Waterwiz. They had an area where people were shooting across. Well, there's still an open driveway from Waterwiz that's directly across from the mobile home turnaround. Right. That can't be there. It's, I've already seen somebody shoot across there. It's hey, unlikely that we're going to get Mass DOT to go out and change that. So what we're going to do is they require need to block that it there. Off. Well, we're going to require that they have an entrance and an exit, and their exit doesn't correspond with that cut through. So no one can exit to cut through. So they and so basically they need to clut it off on their property then. Or I mean, create the entrance cut, and exit you don't, in a way that they can't. I just feel if you don't cut it off, it's still going to be used on a busy yes. day. Yeah, and I, that's something that you guys can address in your All in right. your review of the project. All right. But I, I I also agree, and I believe the police chief's letter and maybe the fire department's letter address that same cutout. Mm -hmm. the, cr the curb cuts are now existing. If, is that correct? Yeah. So is the curb cut directly across from that cut through? It's they're yeah. pretty damn close. There is a curb down. cut that allows them so to they're get not gonna, cut through. They're not going to be able to change the curb cut. Right. Let me explain something. That was my biggest concern in the first hearing, if you guys read the minutes. I remember. And Jim remember the big dilemma about it. I didn't want the opening from day one. And the reason the state put this opening, because that belongs to the old Chinese restaurant. So that's a separate law. Do you understand? See, that's why the curb cut is there. That's a separate lot. The issue when they came to us, they wanted to do a parking lot where the Chinese restaurant is. Town of Wareham do not allow you, the bylaw does not allow you to just build a parking lot without a main building, a house, a business, a structure. And that's how it started all this. Then they increased the, the capacity of the, pro, of the park and they don't have enough parking. So, so all these things came together, and back then we sent them a notice to come before us, and it was my first thing about shutting that curb down. But the state had designed it prior, because it's a Chinese restaurant, it used to be the Chinese restaurant. And of course, they didn't go out, say, close it. There's they a, want to open. There's an additional problem there too. I remember, um, if and if after I say this, you'll remember too. Cape Cod Gas, the gas station, owns a big triangle right away there. I have a right away. So yeah. the only place they could put a curb cut for the would-be Hong Kong Island locates lot was where it is. That's the right because that Cape Cod Gas have an easement from the Chinese restaurant, which could be used for the Chinese restaurant and Cape Cod gas. It's about a pie shape, 150 feet long, but not the second exit, the, not the second curb the state built. They couldn't, yeah. They couldn't get there because of the right, because of the easement, they couldn't move it down further. Right. Oh, so maybe, okay, now I'm starting to understand this. That's why we need a site plan. Right. In your review of the site plan, you can determine where the entrance and exit is and you will determine that the exit shouldn't be across from that curb cut through the median. Yeah, um, we, could make, we could make them use the exit that's south of that turnaround, and, and the entrance could be north of that turnaround. So when people come from the north heading south... I would say the entrance and the exit, the same spot that it's always been where the sign is, water was. Entrance, exit, this way it's controllable. I've seen cars at 3.30 flying from the parking lot diagonally when, yes. the, when the park almost closing at 50 miles an hour in that parking lot, running because they want to get out before the traffic. Yeah, but they can't do that. There's a curb in the way now. And no, they, ca no, they can go towards to go Cape Cod Gas, this okay. area. See, there's too many Cape curbs Cod open. Gas, again, Cape Cod Gas is south of the turnaround, so it's And all there's one before it, and there's the one they, they own originally. There's like three, four entrances to the place. If if, yeah, because people can, because they don't, maybe the site plan, what we need to do is make them put barrels up to sort of stop 
Oh, no, they I'm need just... they need grass strips. They need curving. They need safety yeah. sidewalks. They need lighting. As for that's side, got nothing. That really has little to do with this game. letter, right? Uh, but it's good. Go, it's good conversation. It's good so that everybody gets up to speed on this thing. Right. Right. So uh, I think we understand that they may fight the letter, and that's why we've gotten the letters from the public safety officials as a way to mitigate right, that. Um, I would also say that the applicant is currently in front of the Conservation Commission. They, they are proposing to fill the isolated wetland that's on the left side of their parking lot, if you're looking at WaterWiz, um, and replicate that somewhere else so they can have a bigger parking lot, which is ultimately what they need, um, especially if they're going to accommodate How much, parking islands. And, is it like 5,000 square feet or less? <laughs> So um, there is a way to fill and replicate over 5,000 feet. Just takes a lot more permitting. Um, but yeah, so I think they, they square are coming, foot to square foot. They are coming in under 5,000 square feet. Uh, they wanted a one-to-one -one replication area. We told them that we want something closer to a two-to-one replication area, and uh, they're coming back at our next meeting. So I think it is possible for them to have some type of application in front of you guys before you know this third uh, three months is up well i really hope conservation i mean we want to help them out but yeah. we don't want the wild west i mean i hope conservation give them this permit so they have more parking so they have yeah, room I, to play with i can't speak for the commission but i think if they do come closer to a two to one ratio i think it's it's a good project okay i mean they <clears throat> they encompass they all signed more than just their own lots. No, I mean, they're using sure Sonia, uh, the side of Ocean State hand. job lot, and it creeps out when that's busy. Send. It's starting to creep that's out in the Cardis. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're I mean, there, so they're they're even if it's 5,000 square feet, what's that? Maybe maybe 50 cars at yeah. the most? 5,000? Eight, yeah. nine cars. I, I think that potentially with this work, they could double the size of their parking lot. And that's just a rough. No, that's a big. Looking at the state planning estimating. When you look at the parking lot that used to be Hong Kong Island. Oh yeah, I'm familiar with that. Right, and you go behind it, it drops down. There's a five or six or seven foot drop in grade mm -hmm. down to a lower area, and it's within there. Is am, am I wrong? That's where the no, wetland right. down in there. There's a puddle because you know you dig a hole and water goes in the hole. <laughs> five thousand square feet lot. It's about ten, fifteen cars, but the way it is where it's centered then you have 50 foot buffer right then you're up to 60 cars so it's a big so area. if you move it far not you only not you're not only gonna win five th make five thousand square feet you probably make an acre right. because the the 50 foot buffer around it yeah we have a third uh, 50 foot no activity zone for commercial properties so really you're gaining whatever they're filling plus you know 50 feet off of whatever that line is so. all the way around Plus the just the inaccessible land just because of the change in the grade and all that jazz that, you know, that they can't fill, you know. So they're going to gain a lot of parking out of it. Hopefully they get it. I hope, and I hope they get it so we could work together. And, and I think they rent the, um, the old Walmart parking lot. I don't know. <laughs> I they think they're, they're talking to everyone they can yeah, to get yeah, parking. They're, no, they're, you know, the, well, mean, like they I said, they already, they already occupy most of the left side of um, Cotty's. Yeah, that, and now they're already over there. <coughs> and then I've seen, again, I, went, I mean, I misspoke earlier, but now I've even seen them in the Ocean State parking lot where people are yeah, getting out yeah, with their, base, uh, their bathing suits and their towels and they're yeah, walking all the way that whole se That whole section I mean, from Ocean State. they fill that State. whole thing up. I don't see the what they do there that's going to help that. They rent that whole thing. Yeah. They fill it right up. They have tenants out there. And, and they need it. Right, but using the cardies and job lot, they have to go to planning board because that's their permit, and you might, they have to revise the parking lot for that place because that's designed for cardies and that. But maybe for warmer, it needed more parking than cardies, so maybe they have the room. Yeah, yeah, I, it's something to look into. That's a, they have to do some, some engineering. All right, that being said, so let's. This uh, is if you make a motion, Jimmy, can you motion that letter date with the revisions you did so we could vote on it? Um, yeah, I move to, to um, approve as edited the um, no longer draft, the signed copy of this letter to be 
mails to um, 3031 Cranberry Highway LLC as in the form that it's in now. Move to, agree, to accept. Okay, so we, ha we have a motion to accept that letter with the revisions of the dates that Jimmy wrote and we all initialed the letter to send to Waro was our concerns and what we expect them to do. And we give the power for the, plan for the, uh, the planning department to send them via constable, certified mail, and regular mail. Perfect. All right, do I have a second on that motion? Second. Second by Rich, any discussion before we go forward? Here and none, so uh, all in favor say aye. Troy? Aye. Veronica? Aye. Jimmy? Aye. Rich? Aye. And myself, Nazi, aye. So that's sent, that's good. Did you guys any discussion before we close? Just I'm noticing that Troy Lawson's expiration date is getting close. Why are we at uh, June 30th when he just became a full member? I was just wondering if we have it. That's, uh, it, it must have been the, the time he got. Okay, so I think I still see it when I go on the You website. know why? Because he took Jake's seat and Jake's seats were expiring so June 30. So when he goes this time, he'll get a five year. Okay. So, so you gotta apply it to selectmen. So you're talking about Closing Good the whole meeting. I thought we just talked about closing that. Are we talked about closing the meeting. Yeah. Oh. Unless you guys want to discuss some. Oh yeah, I did want to. I wanted to talk about actually members of the board because we have no associate members right now. We keep but asking people. Ask friends. Ask I've, anybody. I've, I've, I've gone around and asked and tried and got people to come and nobody wants to step up. And I know that's for a problem a fact, because Chris Conti went before. He sent. I don't know. He contacted the um, select board. I guess. So and apply again. Yeah, he did apply. He got to come before us to recommend. I think that we did. I, we did, and it went in front of the selectmen, and they elected not to accept him. I believe. To try again. It's just. It's just. We have tough. new boards. There's two, three new selectmen since then. So it's just a little tough because when as soon as one of us has to recuse herself. These people don't get their full amount of votes. Right, right. if somebody's and, absent. And it's not really their fault. No. No, and then it's, right. it's, not, it's not fair for somebody to have to sign in at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning because of the difference in time zone. <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, well, well, why we does uh, somebody it. reach out to Chris? Have him apply again. There's three different selectmen. That's all what he needs, all three. Right. I, I will tell him that because I, I'm, I'm looking at this, and just reading this letter is what's really making me think about it because this whole thing with Waterworths would not even be an issue if it wasn't constructively granted. It, it was probably constructively granted. Yeah, but it was, it was resent, resented. What, right. They agreed to the center. Well, that's true. That's true. But it's the constructive grant that I'm noticing, and I'm like, that's right before I joined when you were like, we need members because right. applicants are gonna, you know, applications are gonna be granted. Right. So we're we could be in that position again. All we need is one of us five to right. get. Okay. Sick. While we're here, why don't we, uh, if somebody. If somebody wished to recommend uh, Troy, make a motion so we get out of our way. Oh, they're it's gonna need Troy being reappointed. Yeah, well, they're gonna need a recommendation. Uh, I think we should send that. Um, I have Sonia write a letter and whatever states I, I, are recommended. I, I make so moved. All right, we have a recommendation by Jim to reinstate Mr. Troy Ralston to a regular member for another five-year term. By Jim, do I have a second? He's I so second. <laughs> second by Mr. Sample. All in favor, say aye. Veronica. Jim? Aye. Rich? Aye. And myself, aye. Okay, please, Sonia, get that letter to selectmen before his term expires. So and, this time he'll get five years. Mm -hmm. Sonia, Sonia doesn't necessarily listen to the... Um, oh, Patty. Patty, Patty so do it. Give it uh, to Sonia. Maybe Patty could um, write a note or something to Sonia. Uh, okay. I took a note. You took a note? You, you and Sonia speak? So We're close enough. You can yell from one room to the other. Yeah. So I'll terms, mark on the wall. Terms are five years now because they always joined, been five years. I joined in 2019. Why did I have to? You must have took someone else's seat. Yeah. Oh. You came in as associate. No, I didn't. You took it someone else's seat. Right. The seats are staggered, so the whole board can't flip over in the same year. You know. I remember there was a 
a hold to do and a waiting term there for a while. We were trying to get that decided, and they, that's exactly what they said. They wanted to stagger them. Yeah, they, just like they staggered the uh, board before me and Nazi. One died every week until they were all gone. <laughs> three. 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 In a month. Wow. Yeah. Mm. All right, I hate to leave you guys, but I gotta run. Yep. Motion Can we to adjourn. A motion by Jim to have a second by Veronica. All in favor say aye. Troy? Aye. Veronica? Aye. Jim? Aye. Rich? Aye. Myself, Nazi? Aye. Thank you. Thank you all for